Welcome everyone to another very exciting set of races. In today's races, we will see our racers head down a gigantically ginormous super track of speed. There will be twists and turns, and definitely be some crashes and some smashes. So be prepared for some spectacularly awesome races. As we start today's action, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, racing fans alike, I present to you to another very exciting set of races. Over here, we can see some past winners from our previous races. And now moving still slightly over here to the left, I present to you our very new set of racers. The first set is a bunch of NASCAR racers with a very special edition of Lightning McQueen. And then moving right along over here, we have some more Piston Cup racers. And right next to them, you can see that we have the Tuner set of racers. And then right over here on the right, we have the Next Generation set of racers. This is all going to be very exciting, but first let me describe the track that our racers will be racing on. So there are racers are going to start way up here on this gigantically ginormous racetrack and then travel downwards towards this first turn. And if they make it past that first turn, they will receive one point. And then our racers will move on to this sort of straightaway stretch of track, moving all the way over here to our second roundabout. If our racers make it past that, they will receive an additional point for two points. And then our racers will have to clear a jump. And then if they clear that and cross the finish line, they will receive a third point and whoever crosses the finish line first will receive an additional point for a total of four points our racers are very brave and adventurous for daring to race on this racetrack now let's go ahead and start reviewing our racers first up let's start with the nascar series of cars here on the front we see a really awesome picture of the 95 and here's what the car looks like in the packaging for those of you that collect him on the back there are other cars now let's go ahead and get him out of the packaging I present to you, Karsten A. Stillen, racing with the number 3 and sponsored by Sidewall Shine. His main colors are yellow and black. Here he is compared to the other Sidewall Shine racer, who you can see is racing with the number 74 instead. Karsten A. Stillen is based off of real life racer Austin Dillon. And here is his pit stop barrier. Now let's go ahead and move on to our second diecast car. Here we have the same picture of Lightning McQueen, pretty cool looking, and then the car inside the packaging. Do you happen to collect these cars? If you do, let me know. On the back there are some more racers. Now let's go ahead and get them out of the packaging so that way we can review them further. I present to you, Chase Racelet. Racing with the number 9 like real NASCAR driver Chase Elliott that he's based on, his main colors are different shades of green with some white accents. Now we can see him being compared to the old generation, the Piston Cup racers, and the next generation racers of the same sponsor. As you can see, there are many different differences, but which one is your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. And now here is his pit stop barrier. Let's go ahead and start moving on to our next die cast. Here we have that really cool looking picture of Lightning McQueen on the front, and now here's the car in the packaging. I think he looks pretty cool. What do you think? And then on the back, there are some other racers. And now let's go ahead and get him out. I present to you William Byrev. Racing with the number 24 and sponsored by Shifty, his main colors are dark burgundy with dark yellow. This racer is based off of real-life NASCAR racer William Byron, who races with the same number. Here we have both Shifty cars being compared to one another. Which one do you like better? Now let's go ahead and get his pit stop barrier out. And now let's go ahead and move on to our last racer of this set. Here he is. A really awesome picture of him on the front there. And then over here we can see a stamp that says he's new model for the year 2021. And here what he looks like in the packaging I think is really cool. And then on the back here are some more racers and more cars. Let's go ahead and take him out of the packaging. I present to you Lightning McQueen. Racing with the number 95 and sponsored by Rusty's, Lightning McQueen's main colors are red with some yellow and orange accents. This is the Lightning McQueen that raced in the first movie. Do you happen to know what Lightning McQueen's sponsor Rusty's does? Let me know in the comments below. Now let's go ahead and get this very special accessory that he comes with. Here it is, the Piston Cup Trophy. Doesn't that look really cool how it shines in the light there? Now let's go ahead and set it down. Here we have our racers lined up and ready to battle it out on the track. So let's go ahead and get them out there. We have Lightning McQueen and William Byrev in the front. Our racers will change positions to keep things fair. And our 
Racers are off to kind of a slow start, but Lightning McQueen quickly picks up speed going into first position. And wow! Oh no! Oh my goodness! Oh, Razor just fell off of the top of the track. I didn't see who it was, but he did. And now Lightning McQueen almost gets out there, but catches himself as he crosses. And then it looks like we have another racer coming up for the jump, and he clears it. I think it's William Byref. Let's go watch the next replay to find out exactly what just happened. All right, so in the middle there, looks like we have William Byref pushing Chase Elliott into the exterior wall. No, he pushes him off the track, and when he hits the exterior wall, he goes over it as the racers round the first turn. It looks like Lightning McQueen picks up speed and takes that second turn very smoothly. He lines up for the jump, and he almost, he almost goes off the track, but he clears it and goes across the finish line. And now coming up on his tail, it looks like it's William Byrev lining up for that jump, and he clears it, but he stops it dead in his tracks. Back over here at the first turn, we have Karsten Ace Dillon, and then over here off of the track, I hope he's okay, we have Chase Racelet, and then way over here, after the jump, just barely making it, we have William Byrev, and then over here across the finish line, we have our winner of this race, we have Lightning McQueen, who crossed the finish line first, so he receives an additional point for a total of four points. Here are our standings after that first race. In the back, we have William Byrev and Karsten Ace Dillon. And all of our racers are off at full speed ahead, with Lightning McQueen quickly pulling into first position. And now, whoa! Oh my goodness, no! Whoa! It looks like a big crash happened back there at turn number one, where all of our racers came to a halt. But no, it looks like our Valvoline racer, Chase Racelet, is keep pushing on towards the finish line. Can he make it? Does he have enough fuel to make it? And oh my goodness, just barely. We need to watch the second replay to watch that action again. So here come our racers coming up on the first turn. And whoa, big contact between Lightning McQueen and the interior wall, which pushes his front over the exterior. No, there he fully goes over the exterior wall. Oh my goodness. And then go goes Carson A. Still it over the interior wall. It looks like William Byram just completely stops in his tracks at turn number one. But no, wait. It looks like we have our Valvoline racer still racing towards the finish line. There goes Chase Racelet making the jump. And then, oh no, he barely slows down to barely cross that finish line. Oh my goodness. What an exciting race. Here we are back at turn number one where we see Lightning McQueen completely flipped over that exterior wall off of the track. And then we also see Carson Ace Dillon off of the track as well. And then we have William Byrev just completely stopped at turn number one. And then all the way down here, we have our winner who crossed the finish line, Chase Racelet. Here are our standings after that second race. As you can see, it's very close. Still anyone's game. Chase Racelet and Carson Ace Dillon are in the front. And our racers are off with a start with Chase Racelet pulling into first position. Lightning McQueen trying to get around them, but oh no, he's blocked. Our race is now between Chase Racelet and Carson A. Stillen. Oh no! Chase Racelet just threw the race to block Carson A. Stillen. Wait, no, he didn't. He pulled a sneaky on him. He's going around turn number two. He makes the jump. Oh, but he did not have enough power or speed to get across that jump. Let's watch the second replay to watch that action again. Here comes Lightning McQueen gunning for that opening in the middle, but no! Chase Racelet slams the door on him as he swings to the exterior. Now moving back to the interior as they make that first turn, and oh no, Riley and Byra falls off the track, and Lightning McQueen completely stops back there at turn number one, and then here comes Chase Racelet moving around that second turn backwards, lining up for that jump, but oh no, he doesn't have enough force to make it over it. What a great move the number nine made. Here back at turn number one, we have William Byrev and Lightning McQueen both stuck at turn number one, and then over here in the middle of the straightaway, we have Karsten Ace Dillon, and then moving right along over here to the chasm which he fell in, we have Chase Racelet. Here are our standings after that third race. Chase Racelet leads by one. Who will win? Chase Racelet and Lightning McQueen are in the back. And here we go, starting off our race with all the racers speeding out of the track. We have Carson A. Still and William Byron gunning for first position. Whoa, someone fell off the track and Lightning McQueen completely spun out there, stopping at turn number one. We have William Byron and Carson A. Still and fighting for first position. Oh no, Carson A. Still and falls off into the chasm and William Byron crosses the finish line. Oh, we have to watch the second rainbow. Oh no, we have Lightning McQueen coming out of nowhere, crossing the finish line in second. Now let's go ahead and head over to our second replay to watch the action again. Here we have Lightning McQueen trying to get around. 
Billy and Byra, but no, he blocks him. And oh no, Karsten still him kind of boxes in. Light McQueen there making contact between him and the exterior wall. And whoa, Chase Racelet falls off the track back there. And William Byra has completely spun around backwards as they enter that second turn. Here they come lining up for the jump. He slows down just a bit, pushing the number three into that hole as the number 24 crosses the finish line. And here comes the number 95 crossing the finish line, gaining three very important points. That was exhilarating. Back over here at turn number one, we have Chase Racelet flipped over. And then over here, across the jump, no, in the chasm for the jump, we have the number three, Karsten Ace Dillon flipped over. And then over here, across the finish line, we have the Lightning McQueen in second position. And then we have William Byrath in first. What a great race. Here are our standings after that fourth and final race. And here at nine points, we have Lightning McQueen, which makes him the finalist to move him forward to the Grand Championship round. Congratulations to the number 95 for moving forward. I can tell he's excited about that trophy. Look at the way he's looking at it. Here are all the racers that we reviewed in today's video. Firstly, starting off with Kirsten Ace Dillon. And then moving on to our second racer, we have Chase Racelet. And then moving on to our third, we have William Byrev. And lastly, we have Lightning McQueen. Which racer was your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. You can either leave their name or their number. And now, let's just take a real quick sneak peek at our new mini racers, which will be coming new to this channel. Each pack has three brand new mini racers, and each pack also contains a new model for 2021. I know that I'm really excited to see these guys race. Are you excited to see these guys? Let me know in the comments below. Alright folks, remember, this was only the first part of this grand championship down this gigantic racetrack. Stay tuned for the second episode, which will feature another set of racers who will battle it out to become the next finalist for the grand championship, and a chance to take home the trophy. Thank you everyone for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, give us a like and subscribe, and remember to share with your friends. And if you haven't already, go ahead and check out our other videos on this channel. And in the meantime, Keep racing!